I've been enjoying reading um, about the life of David. And one thing I noticed about David is that in the beginning of his journey, you know, after he um, fought Goliath and won, oh God, he used to, and when Saul began to chase him, to kill him, he always asked God, should he do something? You know, should he go against these ones? Should he go up against those? Should he go up to this? Should he go up to Hebron? Should he go? Should he go up to Judah? You know, should he go? Should he? And and waited for the Lord to respond. But one thing that happened that he didn't ask God. Well, maybe two. The first time he didn't ask God about going to get the ark, causing Uzzah's death. Then the second time he didn't ask God anything is when he sinned with Bathsheba. He didn't ask God about not going to war. So let's make he these are lessons for us. Let's make sure that we Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, right? In trust in the Lord with all our heart, not to lean to our own understanding, but in all our ways acknowledge him so that we can get direction for our path. Here comes our own independence and when we get in trouble is when we think we can handle a situation and we don't invite God in to give us direction. We will get in a lot of, I've done it. I've done it and made messes. So we have to learn from these examples so that we don't make messes that we later regret. David made a mess because he didn't ask God. God told him later, he said, if you would have asked me, (laughs) I would have gave you whatever you needed, but he didn't ask. And so that's when we get in trouble. It's when we leave God out. We belong to God. And so let's stop leaving him out.